very important at the finish of any prep you are refining and finishing making sure that the light angles the sharp edges are removed slightly rounded and smoothing out the finish of the prep with the diamond burr So she's got this tooth. I could either start right here to break the contact, to break the contact on the distal or the mesial, or do the reduction on the incisal edges of the tooth. I could break the contact on the side or at the edges. Now you have to put the suction tip where if I put it in a certain area the water will go right into the suction tip. Now I could go ahead and start, I could get a, go ahead and start at the margin right here. You will see where the water goes as I start prepping the tooth. See how the water is going into uh, the section tip where the margin is? I'm getting the margin and you're getting all the water. Now if you don't catch it with the section tip, the water will go all over the place. I could go right on the buckle on the cervical area now which one is better is it is the water going in on the bottom or I could go down on the side to break the contact and, and watch where the water goes I could go right here now. I'm gonna go the same way and work on the distal side of this tooth. I've got the distal side and the mesial side that I've been working on. Let me see, open. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, I've got the distal and mesial side. I'm going to be working on the buckle margin making sure that I have a draw and taper. Uh, the taper would be a 6 to 10 degree mesial distal. Now note the proximal clearance, we will be looking at a 0.5 millimeter minimum to a maximum of 1 millimeter.
Okay, now I'm going to do the incisal edges of this tooth number 10. If you look at that, I've got I've got the diameter of the burr that I'm using. That would be about a millimeter in size of reduction. Now move a little bit this way. See how clear that is with the mirror that I'm using? Now the gentle extension that we have to note would be here. Uh, that would be about a 0.5 millimeter above the tissue. We will be using the CEJ as the guide for that on the position of the margin. I'm going to go ahead and put the margin on the lingual side of tooth number 10. I'm going to be working on, I'm going to put the margin following the CEJ. I could put the margin just right above the gum line. Now bite down. We're going to be checking the occlusal clearance of tooth number tooth number 10. And if you look at that, she doesn't even touch. You can see the mirror and you have to bite down all the way. You got to make sure that she's biting all the way to see, to make sure I have enough clearance. When I look at the mirror, you want to make sure I have enough clearance for the porcelain or the metal lingual surface on a crown prep and if you look at that there is still need to be some reduction needed on the mesial lingual surface of tooth number 10.
Now the lingual reduction, important to note that it has to at least have a 1.5 millimeter to 2 millimeter of clearance. And the lingual fossa is slightly concave. Especially noting that the incisal reduction is straight and uniform, 2.0 millimeter. Checking again the clearance on the lingual. Now open. and making sure that that lingual surface will be smooth, concave, checking again, and then you'll notice that there's a lot more room, clearance from the lower teeth. By the marginal depth and form, the shoulder on the facial would be the marginal depth and form, the shoulder bevel in the proximal, uh, transition to a chamfer on the lingual margin and you are making sure that that transition from the buccal margin to the proximal and to the lingual margin are nice and smooth along with the buccal surface now we are at that point of refinement and finishing of the prep. Lining up the, the sharp edges. Check it on the lingual. Very important at the finish of any prep you are refining and finishing making sure that the light angles the sharp edges are removed slightly rounded and smoothing out the finish of the prep with the diamond burr checking again and making sure all the surfaces are smooth